hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Vicky Anyoni and today's video will be basically about the travel pro tips to help you balance your work life and your travel life so we'll get right into this the first thing that you need to be aware of you need to begin at home if you live in a city you can actually make uh, you can be intentional about first visiting the attraction sites that are close proximity to you before you even think about going far and beyond so um, i do understand that most often than not people usually don't uh, really uh, optimize or rather they don't usually have priority to visit the attraction sites closer to them maybe because they feel like they're ordinary or perhaps they just feel like they will have time later on to visit these places but if you're a travel enthusiast who wants to feed your passion you can actually take advantage of those places that are in close proximity to you and you start with them and then once you have the time you can actually prioritize other places that are far off from you and the only thing you can start this by maybe having a list of the must see destinations that you're very excited about and then once you get an opportunity you can hit off and start with those high priority destination areas yes the second point is ensure that you take short day and weekend trips to places nearby you so you can make the most of your weekends by actually prioritizing or rather scheduling your weekends in such a way that you optimize them to visit places nearby they can be by road or even flight if it's like within a one day or two day time frame so you can basically take advantage of the spontaneous weekend uh, adventure and you can hop onto a bus you can research beforehand to know the places that are nearby maybe three hour drive four hour drive make sure that you go on a friday afternoon and you can spare some time on saturday and sunday to explore and then you come back on sunday right before monday rolls by and at the end of the day you will have explored without really waiting for the vacay or your time day off to actually take advantage of going away you can also take advantage of the long weekends maybe if there's a holiday that falls on a monday or a friday and then you can plan your trips around this because at least you'll have enough time for travel and exploration so guys the third tip will be plan your vacation days better by making a list of the national holidays your bank holidays and your pay time off be very deliberate about your vacation days planning your vacation days along those holidays so that you can maximize on your time off so how can you do this you can actually have a master list of all the holidays of all the weekends and then you can make sure that your pay time off falls along this time so that you can be able to have a long time when you're working and this mostly happens for those who are full-time employed and you just want to make the most of your vacations you can ensure that you have a master list of the holidays ensure that you take your time off and this will also help you when you're planning for for maybe trips in advance and you just need to know when i should book this flight when i should roll out this itinerary and also it will keep you pumped on the activities that you're looking forward to do and it will also save you costs things like flight tickets and hotel bookings when you book them prior to actually going there it usually saves costs because you can take advantage of discounts of, of prior bookings yes and that takes us to point number four make the most of your work trips if you're fortunate enough to be in a job where you have uh, an occasional local and international travels please make sure that you take advantage of this opportunity to travel and to explore the cities that you're in and you can do this by, by maybe checking in or traveling a day or two before your work trip at your own expense and ensuring that you just tour the city or you can even extend by a day or two at your own expense and ensure that you tour the city around you can also take advantage of the weekends instead of just confining yourself to the hotel to the indoors like staycation kind of thing you can ensure that the weekends are spent exploring the city and just touring the city i know that you won't have like enough time it will be more like seeing the highlights of the city but it also go a long way towards feeling that you've really explored the city as much as you won't be able to explore the culture and really soak in the beauty of the city it will give you some highlights of the city also another strategy will be you can even for instance if you have a visa to a country and you have a like a 12 month visa 
you're working on a project, you can ensure that you optimize to maybe work for 11 months, and then the one month you can ensure that you can set it aside for your work, your vacation, for your vacation and traveling and exploration and adventure. And with this, it will be a win-win. So ensure that you look out for that. And the tip number five is to be keen to work in different or multiple locations. If you're looking for an opportunity to work abroad, you can actually source out or look out for jobs or companies that usually have different branches uh, across, maybe locally or even internationally. You can apply for a job in these companies. And if you are in such a company, you can take advantage of secondment opportunities and even opportunities for transfers to other countries or cities, maybe for a month. And when you're, whilst you're there, you can just take advantage to tour the city and soak in the culture of the city. So this will be, you have the opportunity to be, to be able to tour different locations, different countries, different cities. And yes, that's maximum adventure. Yeah. So on to the last points, last but not least, consider a working vacation. When COVID-19 hit uh, the world in 2020, so many companies came up with uh, solutions towards it, and that was working remotely and even hybrid solutions where you can work partly from home and partly in the office. So if you're if you're very privileged to ha to be in such a situation, you can actually take advantage of a working vacation whereby you you can go on vacation, but you're actually working and you're showing up for your work duties, and so it's a win-win because you're working remotely. Maybe you're in an island you're in Zanzibar you're in Lamu but you're also delivering on your on your on your work tasks by the end of the day maybe if it's a weekend or a holiday or in the evenings you can take advantage and tour the city and explore so yeah so thank you so much guys for sticking by to till the end and I hope these tips you find these tips uh, very helpful and insightful be sure to stay by and tune in for more tips in future I plan to have a series of travel tips, relocation hacks, life hacks, anything around tips that can help you. So look out for more. Thank you.